All right, so the experiment today is I, uh, I want to make a new mini downspout for this uh, window seal here. And the issue I ran into is uh, all the window sills in my house are not built the same size. Some are uh, not as wide as the, the other ones. And as you can see, this previously built uh, mini downspout that worked in the other windows doesn't work over here as it'll uh, hit on the window. So I need to make a narrower downspout. And I previously bought a 2x2 Amerimax uh, gutter downspout from uh, Home Depot. So I'm gonna go ahead and I use that as it's just been sitting in my garage. And as you can see, it's a 10 foot rail by two by two inches. And also you can see the price is 11.78, so it's pretty affordable and they usually have them in stock. And you could also get the same uh, Amerimax two by two downspout over at Lowe's. Same thing, it's 10 foot, two by two inches. Uh, but as you can see, it's 13.48. So it's a couple bucks more. They also have them in stock, so this is a product that they uh, regularly carry. So I went ahead and measured the, uh, the window and was able to make a custom end cap that would fit these. But as you can see, it's still a tight fit if I close the window, but at the end of my windows, there's a little notch on there. So I'm going to make the downspout the width of the window so it won't hit on the, uh, that middle part that's sticking out. So it should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, measure the window seal and see how wide it is. And as we can see, it's about 33 and a half. So I'm just gonna make a measurement here, measure out to 33, make a mark. Yeah. Then uh, prepare to cut it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure the uh, width of this uh, mini downspout. And it's actually two and three eighths. So I'm gonna find the middle point, which would be one and three sixteenths. And I'm just making a mark on each side so I can uh, draw a center line. All right, now I'm gonna measure an inch and a half from the uh, side of the downspout. And that'll be where my first uh, hole is gonna be. Then I'm gonna measure uh, two inches over. That'll be where my second one. And then at five and a half, that'll be where the next one goes. And I'm gonna go all the way down the line till I get to 31 and a half. That's where, that will be where my last hole will be. Now I'll just grab my right angle and then uh, make some crosshairs so I know where to uh, drill my holes at. All right, then I just grabbed a straight edge so I can draw a center line and then the crosshairs will be done. And we're ready to start drilling some holes, so let's do it. And I bought these new uh, net cups off Amazon to try out. And the overall width is an inch and three quarters, and the uh, overall height is also an inch and three quarters. And these are similar to the ones that I bought earlier, as they got this little lip on here, which I like. And I'll leave a link in the description showing what I bought. And, you, and as you can see, the hole size that I'm going to be drilling is an inch and a quarter, so it's much narrower than the regular uh, two-inch net cups. So I'll just go ahead and uh, drill out all the holes. All right, everything's looking good here. I'm just going to grab uh, some acetone and uh, start cleaning off these uh, pencil marks. And I'm actually just using my daughter's uh, nail polish remover, which it does contain the acetone, as you can see. So I'm just going to grab a paper towel, put some of the uh, nail polish remover on it, and uh, I'll remove these marks. The nail polish remover works great to remove any of the uh, marks or markings that are uh, on the PVC. You could also use it to remove any of the silicone residue that's left over after you're done putting on the uh, end caps. You can also use it to remove any of the ink that comes pre-stamped on these gutters. Just apply it the same way, put it on a paper towel, rub it down and the ink will come off, giving you a nice clean white gutter. Now we're gonna grab our advanced silicone and uh, we're going to install these end caps. 
Also, a tip is the smaller that you make the uh, hole in your uh, silicone tube, the more easier it is to uh, get it in the, into the groove of the uh, end cap. So I'm just going to grab uh, the first end cap here and I'm going to start filling up the groove with silicone. And the goal here is just to uh, fill the entire groove up uniformly with uh, silicone, probably right to the top. And just visually inspect it. If you see any low spots, then you can go back with the gun and uh, fill them up. And once you're done with one, just set that one down and then grab the other one and uh, start repeat the same process. And after I'm done filling up the groove, I'll just set them on the table for about a minute and let the uh, si silicone settle. And now I'm going to grab the uh, popsicle stick and uh, use this to uh, scrape off any of the excess. You can use anything with a straight edge like an old credit card or ID card. And pay attention to the direction that I'm scraping the uh, excess silicone. I'm basically holding the uh, popsicle stick at about 90 degrees and then scraping the excess towards the uh, middle. And once I uh, gather some excess on the popsicle stick, then I'll push it in the groove. And just visually inspect the groove as you want it all uniformly filled. If you see any low spots, then that's where you need to apply the uh, excess silicone. And I just repeated the process to the uh, other cap. And once I'm done with that, then I'm ready to uh, insert them onto the end of the downspout. And now I will insert the uh, downspout into the groove of the end cap as even as possible. And try not to come in and at an angle. That way the push out of the silicone is evenly around the uh, end cap. From here, you could either use your uh, finger or the uh, stick. And, and you got to go around the whole outside of the... Uh, groove and you're just pushing the silicone into any low spots that you see. Just keep working it in going around and around. You know you can scrape the excess off with your finger and then visually inspect it if you see a low spot and then just use your finger and then fill that spot. And once everything looks good then you're going to grab your uh, popsicle stick again and then finish it off. You need something with the right angle and you put one edge on the uh, downspout and the other edge on the uh, end cap and just go around the whole outside scraping off any excess. And if you did it correctly, you should end up with about the same excess amount as I did on my popsicle stick. And if you end up with a big gob on there, that means you put too much uh, silicone at the beginning. So next time, try to put a little bit less. And once you're done with that, that's it. Then you just got to set it aside and let it dry for 24 hours. All right, so we let it dry overnight. Now I'm just going to put in the uh, net cups and take a look at what it looks like. And I'm going to be experimenting with this, trying to start uh, new seedlings in my windowsill and see how that goes. But now let's go take it to the window and see if it fits. All right, everything's looking good here, so we're gonna wrap it up. And be sure to check out part two as I'm gonna be trying out a couple different grow mediums here. And uh, we'll see what the results are. So until next time, we'll see ya. And if you're interested in making your own uh, mini downspouts for your window sills, be sure to go check out my Etsy store. As I sell the uh, handmade end caps for the 2x3 Amerimax uh, gutter jeep that you can purchase at either Home Depot or Lowe's. Be sure to check out our other videos so we got step-by-step -step guides on how to make the mini downspouts. And I'll post a link to the Etsy store in the description below. Be sure to go check it out. As I currently have uh, end caps for the 2x3 Amerimax rain gutters, but I'll also be adding the 3 inch by 4 inch and also 2x2 uh, two two inch that they sell at Home Depot. So be sure to subscribe because I'll be posting the uh, new end caps and products here. Alright, until next time, have a good one. We'll see ya.